My name's Dami, I'm 23. I have two sisters and a brother, and I'm from divorced parents, but I'm in touch with both of them. Living arrangements are always kind of complicated. At the moment, I'm living with my mum, but not even two weeks ago, I was living with my dad. I love my mum, but she does things that I find really annoying. Hi, mum. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, Dami, I needed your help with this. My mum does not see me as a grown-up, so it's a bit difficult trying to have a serious conversation. So how did you feel about the interview? I think it went well, but I felt like I started rambling towards the end. Did they not ask you leading questions or...? No. The tell me about yourself question was the hardest bit. Like, what, mm. what do I... What do they want to know? What do I need to... I don't know. Sounds like it was a bit serious, doesn't it? Oh, they're always serious. Oh, don't they know you're my baby? Mm. <coughs> don't they know no, you're Mom, my baby? They don't, they don't know that. Should tell them that you're my baby. I'm pretty sure that won't make a difference. You'd be surprised. Just tell them you're Inola's baby. Tell them that next time. Shouldn't mess around with you. Anyway, what do you think about this? She calls me baby all the time. All the time. In an ideal world, I think it'd be better if she like didn't talk for five minutes, just like so get it all out, rather than like trying to like, embrace me. No, I like something like this. This? Yeah, yes. I agree. You agree? You agree on something? Yeah. So I was trying to tell her about my mental health and she was like, oh, you yeah, know, you're fine though, it's fine. I know that you get a little bit worried and anxious, but it's okay, don't worry about it. And I was like, no, mum, I want to explain how I feel in detail. She was like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, let's move on. Let's not dwell on it. And I'm just like, but I, I'm trying to communicate with you. I think she was trying to like hug me more than listen to what I was saying. Her reaction definitely pushes me away. I wish I could say more. Excuse me, sir, you didn't see how full I am. Oh, Lord. Eh? It didn't go around me. That means what's the matter? Nothing. I have to be honest, I was feeling a bit anxious about coming home. Why? Because I moved in with my dad and suddenly I'm back with you. Like, it's not a bad thing, it's just... I feel like I went back in time a little bit. Maybe feel a bit uncomfortable. I feel like I've gotten to somewhere else in my life and I just went back in time and I didn't want to go oh. back in time. I'm just thinking how I can help. You because... can't. You can't. There's nothing anyone can do. So, is it been difficult adjusting to living back with me? Yes, but no. It's hard to explain. I don't really want to talk about I it think, anymore. I think, I think I understand what you're trying to say, but I'm asking you to look at a different perspective. Can I invite you into a different way of thinking? No. <laughs> Just no. Whew. I don't need help. That's the point. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe... Dami, how are you doing every now and then? No, or... no. Just ignore you. <sighs> that seems to be the script right now. The script of you go your way and I go mine. That's, that's the way it feels. Mm. <sighs> this conversation is stressful. It's done. OK, all right. OK, I'll see you later. Let me just go up the other side of the market. <laughs> I think family therapy will help in a way where we be, we'll be able to communicate better. I think that's the main thing. So family therapy isn't a quick fix. Normally people see a family therapist over a period of weeks and months and sometimes even longer. So this is just the beginning of that journey for Aranola and Dami. So I hope that even in one session, we're gonna be able to start identifying some of the issues that they'd like to resolve. So one of the themes that kind of emerged for me when I was watching some of the interviews um, of both of you this morning was uh, about the talking and about who takes up space, who does the talking, you know, what the talking is about. You're laughing already. Do you, I'm you... laughing now because life is easy. It doesn't have to be tough. <laughs> OK. Yeah. So it, it doesn't mean I'm not taking it seriously. It's just my reaction. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you would really like to, to work on okay. together. I would like there not to be like such a, th uh, a thing around me saying I need space. Like just, mm -hmm. if I say the word, then it's not offensive, it's not personal. I just literally just want to decompress for a while. Yeah. I feel like she takes it personally when it's not. And how would that improve things between you? I think I wouldn't be so worried about how she's feeling emotionally at that moment because she wouldn't have a large emotional reaction. It might just be a little bit taken aback rather than actually hurt or upset. What happens for you then when you hear Dami say, 
I need some space, Mel. Well, if I can't negotiate to stay a little bit more, mm -hmm. then I just go back to my room. Mm -hmm. I mean, even yesterday, uh, what happened? I think I said, can I have five minutes? Mm -hmm. She goes, yep. So I had five minutes. I didn't know I was on the clock. So I think I said something else. She goes, mom, you spent 45 minutes now. You only wanted five. And I now act like, like a child, like, oh yeah, so I did 45, okay. All right, so I think my time is up, you mm -hmm. know, and then I just go mm -hmm. and do so. so. <laughs> <laughs> you said something important there also. You said, so then I act like a child. So yes, I is that right? Is, uh, what's happening for you inside then? Do you feel uh, like you're being rejected? The thing is, I didn't realize that there was a time scale. Mm -hmm. So it comes as a shock. Yeah. And then I'm also saying, I haven't seen you most of today mm -hmm. and I would like to spend time. But I also understand that she has her own plan, mm -hmm. you know? So all that, I'm processing all that in my head, but I'm thinking, we haven't actually really seen each other, but we live together. Maybe parents or mums, maybe they always feel like that. Maybe there's always a feeling like, I'm always gonna want more of you than you want of me. You know, maybe that's, mm. that's part of the kind of process of having children. Mm. No, what do you think about that? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Yeah, you sound pretty clear. Do, is that how it feels a lot of the time, that sort of mum wants you more than actually you need because you're an adult? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how your mum became an adult alongside <coughs> her own mum. And one of the things that I really struck me as I was watching the, the video clips this morning was that you're about the same sort of age as you were when you came to this country. Is that right? I was about... 22 or 23, yeah, I think about that age, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Does that feel significant? Because it feels mm. significant to yeah. me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you hadn't thought about it, no, but it feels really significant mm. to me. Mm. I left a lot of pain behind as well. Uh -huh. yeah. I wanted to get away from voices shouting and... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Constantly being told off. Mm -hmm. Told off or not being good enough. Wow. I just wanted to keep, keep draw a line get away okay that's yeah. why you that's why you that's left. one of the reasons why i came here who were those voices that you left behind um there was a lot of pain because my parents were separated mm -hmm. and he expressed his own pain in his own way mm -hmm. and one of it was to imagine that i didn't have a mom anymore she's dead tell me what you're hearing for for the first time how are you hearing this story um how she felt about not being good enough yeah um jumping between mom and dad because i'm kind of does that doing sound familiar? That yeah. yeah. But I'm not doing it in the same context. Like my situation is not hostile on either mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. It's just situations happen, so you've got to go from here to there. Yeah. But, but it's interesting how patterns sometimes repeat. Yeah. It sounds mm. oddly familiar, kind of uncanny. What does that mean for you as a mum? I made a promise to myself that I would never, if I had kids, never let them feel unloved mm -hmm. or have a painful experience. So I guess I was wondering whether that's part of the reason why perhaps it's difficult to talk to your mum sometimes about your anxiety or other things that have been difficult. She is there ready with a hug before you've even got the words out. What do you think? Yeah, there might be some truth in that. What do you think about that? Do you think that maybe it, your, your, your real strength mm. and your passion mm. to try and make things okay for your children means sometimes there is a danger that you, you kind of override the things that are difficult because it's just too horrible to think about? I think there's a possibility that could happen, but mm -hmm. um, it would be nice to have that articulated, you know, in a mm -hmm. way that I would understand what the issue is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you doing right now? Um, I feel a little bit overwhelmed when trying not to cry, mm -hmm. especially when she was talking about some painful memories. Do you mind if I ask you about some of those feelings? Hearing from her parents that she's not good enough and she just can't seem to please them, it's also, I just can't imagine. That no. it's, just, it's just, it sounds really uncomfortable. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a really, a kind of a deeper level of understanding of your mum when you hear her talking in that way. I think I might want to talk to her more about complicated issues because mm -hmm. it's very possible that she's felt the same way even if I didn't know that. Yeah. And she'd be able to give me the best advice possible because <laughs> she's done something far more extreme. Mm -hmm. Is this what you had in mind? How did you think it was going to go? I had no idea how it would be. So this is kind of 
It's going better than I expected, to be honest. I thought we'd both be crying, maybe. Okay. Crying and hugging, I'm not sure. Okay, is crying and hugging not good? No, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to no. do that? Okay, why? I just, I feel like it might not get us anywhere. We'll just waste okay. time with the tears, so. Mm -hmm. What might happen if you start crying? I might let go of things that I'd maybe bottled longer before that I just didn't want to address. Okay. Did you know that Dummy feels like that? What she said about the crying getting in the way, never heard that one before. Mm -hmm. But I do know that when I cry, it's like she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Is that <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Does that upset you? Yeah, I can't help. I can't manage the situation. Mm -hmm. Whether you're crying or doing something else, I guess I wonder how people can be there for you if it's difficult to show that you're vulnerable. I haven't thought about that. But I think it's a bit dangerous if you don't vocalise or express things or get it out of your system. Mm -hmm. You kind of need to be able to get some stuff out of you. Maybe that's part of what happens with the anxiety mm. where it builds up. You're talking about being vulnerable now because I've brought it up. So how does it feel talking about it now with your mum here, sort of acknowledging some of these complicated feelings? I feel exposed. Mm -hmm. What do you think your mum's making of it? What do you wish she could take away from, from this bit of the conversation? I'm not really sure. Just turn your chairs a little bit like you were doing before, yeah. because I think you need to be having this conversation with each other. So why don't you ask Dummy how mm. you'd like her, how she'd like you to be? How, how? Dummy, I am so sorry and almost hurt for you you know, to hear what you've said about the vulnerable thing and having to deal with things yourself. And it makes me feel that I'm not available enough or I'm not approaching you in the right way so that you can com be comfortable enough to talk. So what can I do differently to help you to um, get out some of those feelings or talk about them? I feel like if I say something sad, you'll be really, really sad. Okay. And I don't want to make you sad, so I'd rather just deal with it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Give me your hand. I don't want you to feel that, um, you telling me things and if I'm sad, it's your responsibility. I want you to understand that I have a way of dealing with my own things and it's not something that should be your problem that like you should fix. I would like to know when you need me to come into situations because I agree with you that I would like you to solve things yourself. You know, I've always encouraged independence, but I also would like to, to give me an indication of when you need my input. Sounds like your mum's saying she's, she's really strong and she wants to be there for you in a different sort of way so that you can go to her or not go to her, but you don't need to worry about her, yeah? I, I, don't, I don't really know what to say. It's just kind of comforting to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm happy for you to pile on more. You're my baby, <laughs> you know? You're my baby. I adore you. I'm so proud of you. And I guess part of that conversation is she can come to you and she doesn't have to come to you and that's also okay. You're yes. right, yeah. spot on. Yes, I'm yeah. hearing okay. that. Yes, I, yes. Okay. This feels like a really important moment to be thinking about the anxiety that you've experienced in the past and maybe still do. Is there something that you want to share with your mum or the way, would you like to guide her how she can help you? Oh yes, please. I guess if I just, if I say the word space, just don't take it personally. <laughs> no, 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 I won't take it personally. You know I need my space sometimes. What happens at home, I don't know, around meals? I know it's kind of new, isn't it, being back at home, but can you think of a scenario where it doesn't work brilliantly? We don't eat together, and I know my mum would like to, but we eat very separate things. Mm -hmm. I have a very restrictive diet, and mm -hmm. she'll either like nibble something that I'm eating, or just eat something completely different, or she'll want to try my food. Mm -hmm. I don't like to share my food. She doesn't okay. like that. I just, no, I, she doesn't. It's, it's a no-no. It's mine. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> would it be like if you made extra and mum made a real effort to eat the food that you made? That would be nice. Because eating together is a very special thing, really, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you willing to give it a go? Oh, God, yes, I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling all right? I bet you're feeling exhausted, aren't you? A little bit, but I also feel lighter as well. Mm, great. Can we hug now? Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. I love you so much. Oh. Oh. Love you. <laughs> a long hug. Is it long? Oh, yeah. I'm not happy. Okay, I'm trying to get you <laughs> sure next time. <laughs> so, has the week been very beneficial for you? It's been interesting. It's been invasive because I feel like I'm having to think about things I would not think about. Mm. Sitting here. Like out loud. Mm. I have to say that in any way that I have contributed, you know, to. The anxiety thing, air quotes. Um, I'm just apologising because I know how hard things have been, you know, last few years. I feel like I see things a bit differently now. Like there are things my mom says, and I kind of understand more where she's coming from when she says it. Also, when I said I needed space the other day, she didn't freak out, which is nice. And we had an, a very emotional conversation yesterday where I kind of blew up a little bit, but she was quite patient with me, which I appreciated. I feel like I got a lot of my frustrations out because to be honest, I just like peace. I like things to be calm. And I was holding something in that I think needed to kind of come out. So now that that's done, everything's kind of calm. Oh, I love this. Can I taste? Yeah, all right. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, my baby can cook. Mum, you've no, you've tasted. You put your hand in it. Mum, no, 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 no. Please, no. Both of us are listening more, and we're doing the work to repair a relationship. And it's not that we individually need to do stuff; we need to do it together. Shall I follow you, madam? Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Though we're not able to have difficult conversations just yet. There's a slight improvement, and for me, that's just good to have some progress. Very nice.